Well, hello everyone! It's me, your favorite host, Marty Mocha! And welcome back to your favorite baking competition, Batter Up! Today, Eugene and Marzipan will be going head to head to see who can make the most decadent tri- Hey! I was watching that! Suck it up, twerp! Ugh! Don't you two start Before fighting you again. Up. I've already gotten a headache. She started it, Mom! No, I, I didn't. I swear. I thought I told you. No talking back to your sister, nor I. Apologize to Chloe and go to your room. Immediately. No, I'm go. awfully Leave sorry, Chloe. Sorry that you're a spoiled brat. One day, I don't know how or when, but I will buy you, and with you, I'll be able to finally follow my dream. <laughs> Maybe even end up on Batter Up. Talking to that building again, are we? <laughs> Makes sense though, I guess that's what happens when you don't have any friends. Don't you three have anywhere else to be, sis? Actually, yes. We're on our way to get many petties for the banquet this weekend, so we'll be on our way. Oh, and uh, cake? Yeah, don't call me sis. upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops that's where you find me oh cake you startled me oh i'm sorry nona i didn't want to interrupt your song quite all right sweetheart I'll forgive you for a hug from my favorite granddaughter. Are you sure that's me, Nona? It seems like Chloe is everyone else's favorite. Now you know how I feel about that girl, and you know where she gets it from. Yes, Nona, I know. I live with it every day. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but they are paying for your education and providing for you more than I ever could. It'll all be worth it one day, when you get your bakery. Hmm, isn't that what you want? <laughs> yes, Nona, more than anything. One day, sweetheart, these clouds will be far behind you, and you'll be where you desire. Trust me. I trust you more than anyone. I gotta get going now. I'm heading home to finish up this essay. Be safe. And hey, would you mind paying this old lady a visit tomorrow morning for breakfast? If eggs and home fries are on the menu, count me in. You got it. See you then. Yes? Mm-hmm. It's the abandoned bakery from across the courthouse. Yes. Uh-huh. No! I can't believe it foreclosed either. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll take it no matter what the price. She deserves it. She's been working so hard lately, and I think this will be good for her. It's always been her dream, apparently. Who knew? Oh my god. No way. Mom, I'm home. What are you doing? Were you spying on her? No. I, uh, no. Oh, there you are, Chloe. 
Excellent news. I called about that bakery like you asked and it was still available. I put in an offer they couldn't refuse and it's yours. What? Thanks, mommy. You're the best. Is this some cruel joke? No, you didn't know. It's been my dream to be a famous superstar baker. Now it's finally going to happen. Are you kidding? Have you ever even baked a cake, Chloe? Let alone done any sort of work. You know, like the kind it takes to run a bakery? You know this has been my dream ever since we were little. You know how much I wanted that bakery. I've been saving every penny I've made for over a year now. Why are you doing this to me? Oh yeah, speaking of work, my laundry needs to be done. It's really been piling up this week. Thanks, Stepsis! I don't see these clouds clearing anytime soon, Nona. my old boy. Hey, Shep. Cake, is that you? Yes, Nona. It's just me. Just in time. Breakfast is done. Why don't you grab yourself a plate? Nona, I lost it. The bakery. I saw the sold sign on my way home from the flower shop last night. I'm really trying to take your advice. I've been patient. I've been working so hard and nothing good ever comes from it. But it will, sweetheart. Just give it a bit more time. But Nona, how much more time? When will it start to get better? I'll tell you what. Finish up your breakfast and then head into the city with me. I have something to show you. <sighs> okay. I've never been down this side of town. What's down here? This used to be the busiest part of the city in my day. There's the old bowling alley. The skating rink. Oh, and Jerry's. They had the best old-fashioned malt milkshakes. Now they're all just abandoned? With all the newer restaurants and amusements in the main part of the city, people slowly started to forget about little old outskirts. Most couldn't afford to stay open and were forced to foreclose and move. Now these remnants are all that's left, including... A bakery? Before your father passed away, he had started a college fund for you. I was able to get my hands on it before your wicked stepmother. I had been pitching in a little every month or so for a while now and I planned to buy that bakery you wanted for you when I could afford it. I was almost ready to put in an offer until she offered twice as much as I could have. Then I thought of this old place and the memories I shared with your father here. This is where I bought him his first birthday cake. And I know it's not much, but maybe if we had a passionate shop owner down this way, we could liven up this part of the city again. No, not. I absolutely love it! We can totally do this! I have some money saved too! We can hire a landscaper and I'm pretty handy. I'm sure I could fix these windows and... Nona, thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. Well, go on. Here's the keys. Let's check it out. <laughs> okay, this will need a little bit of paint and maybe we can get some flowers from your shop. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. 